Aviation Museum out of Port Clinton, Ohio. We recently acquired the PT-728 from another museum you know, on the Hudson River in New York, and we're now bringing it through the Erie Canal to its new home base of Lake Erie in Port Clinton, Ohio. And how long will it take you to get that? Uh, we should be uh, in Port Clinton by Tuesday. So we're going to make a stop to Buffalo tomorrow night, uh, hopefully get on the Lake Erie uh, between Sunday and Sunday evening, get to Cleveland, make a stop in Cleveland, Ohio, and then on to, on to uh, Port Clinton on Tuesday morning. Okay. Yeah. Now what can you tell me about this boat? This boat was built in 1945. The keel was laid on August 10th, 1945. And for any history buffs out there, you might realize the atomic bomb had just been dropped right before that. So this was this was being built as the war was wrapping up in the Pacific. So that was good fortune. It survived the war. Many of the uh, the PT boats that were in the, in the uh, campaigns were destroyed by the U.S. Navy afterwards because they couldn't bring them back. They just ripped out the engines, torpedoes, and guns, and these were made out of wood, so they, they just sunk them or burnt them. So the ones that are surviving today were the ones that were here stateside doing other duties uh, or just coming off the, off the ways and they were put into the reserves or then eventually sold into uh, uh, public service. The individuals would buy them, retrofit them, uh, put a cabin cruiser, kind of a superstructure on them. And every so often you might see one of those things still, still around in a marina. But uh, PT-728 was restored uh, several years ago. I believe it was in the uh, uh, Key West area. As I said, it was most recently uh, on the Hudson in Kingston, Ohio, Kingston, uh, New York. And uh, we're taking it back to Port Clinton, Ohio, where the Liberty Aviation Museum is uh, opening on Ju July 20th, 21st, and 22nd. We have a museum with a uh, B-25 Mitchell bomber fully operational. We are hosting another group that is assembling a working flying Ford trimotor. Uh, this is 1927 technology commercial airlines back then. This Ford trimotor will be, will be flying when it's complete. And uh, PT-728 will be dockside in Port Clinton, Ohio. Uh, once we get there and get organized and, and do a couple changes, We'll, we'll be tied up in venues like this and we can invite the public on, have a tour of what the boat looks like, take you down into the quarters, see how the crew lived and how they worked. And uh, we'll be making public appearances. Uh, the U.S. Navy has Navy Week in, in many communities in the United States. There's Navy Week in Cleveland, Ohio, and Na Navy Week in Toledo, Ohio. We'll probably make an appearance at both those events. There's numerous air shows along the Great Lakes. There's, there's many organizations that would like to just uh, have us come on by and give a, give a brief tour to their members. Now is there a charge for going on the boat? Um, there'll be a charge worked out as we get back get back to uh, Port Clinton and, and I'm sure there'll be a small charge. We'll also have membership in our museum too, which will take a lot take a lot a lot of that. And one last thing, what was the boat's main purpose in the war? Uh, these were used for attacking uh, merchant shipping, uh, transport ships, uh, commando raiding. They would they would take soldiers in in for clandestine drops, so they're picking up uh, people, but uh, primarily against en enemy shipping. They're heavily armed. This one would have been armed with four torpedoes and uh, two two gun uh, tubs and some additional armament. So that's that's what they would have been doing out there in the Pacific or or in the European theater. There were some PT boats in the European theater. And how many um, uh, was the crew on this boat? Uh, it, it varied, basically 10 or 11, and then it, it might get even uh, more compact if they brought on some Marines that they were dropping off somewhere, but basically uh, 10 or 11. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you, sir. Thank you.